We have an email from one of our uh, listener listeners named Yancey. Hey, Yancey. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I like your bar a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Owner of Yancey's Bar. Yeah, San Francisco. <laughs> Big fan of GameScoop. Says, hey guys, long time listener, first time writer. I'm writing because I just found out GameStop stores are closing all over Puerto Rico. Ooh. Yeah. This for me is heartbreaking, see it, seeing as it is my go-to store for video games. Obviously, there are other stores where I can buy games, but it is not the same. I was wondering if this is something you could talk at the show. Yeah. Uh, part of this, I was talking. Uh, <laughs> so we don't live in Puerto Rico. We don't. No, I was talking to this uh, with uh, Jose, who oh. is uh, Puerto Rican American, and he was sort of explaining that like Puerto Rico is actually in a like economic crisis mm -hmm. now. Yeah. So this is sort of. Yes, GameStop is closing, but it's like a bigger thing than that. Yeah, um, they might actually declare bankruptcy. I yeah, think the yeah. whole like territory, the government. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not good. Um, so yeah, I feel like it's a. Uh, I would say it's more of a victim of that than uh, sort of any indication that GameStop as a whole is on the decline. Even though I think GameStop as a whole well, is on the decline. Well, it's like we, <laughs> so we like make fun of GameStop, right? Like it's a butt of a lot of jokes, and like I just buy my games yeah, on Amazon or I buy games digitally on Steam or whatever. But it's kind of easy to forget that that's like such a first world perspective and like for a lot of people not that Puerto Rico is not the first world I'm just saying that other people in places yeah. outside yeah. of the contiguous United States don't have options to like get a game the next day in the mail or like well Amazon does ship to Puerto Rico interesting yeah. mm -hmm. do they? is it the same like is it the same like I know like I have yeah. a sister that lives in Hawaii and like it's just kind of a pain to get anything shipped out there mm -hmm. and like it doesn't cost more it just takes a long time yeah I, I also think we just like I don't know we have savvy tech jobs and we live in a pretty yeah. Uh, well yeah you know, very much a city that's like, all, people, that's all my buddies back in the Midwest like they all still get games from brick and yeah. mortar yeah I'm not trying to make any judgments about Puerto Rico or anything it's really more about us and like when I think about how I get my games and how easy it is and how fast it is that like it's kind of easy to forget that other people have a, just a different experience yeah. elsewhere in the world also we take it uh, also because of our position we take it for granted that we can come to like every day we wake up and we go to a place where we're surrounded by people we can speak intelligently like with mm -hmm. like minded yeah, people yeah. right and for me I mean I worked for <laughs> GameStop well before it was GameStop I worked for Electronics Boutique for Whoa. and then GameStop for, e -games. for yeah, and then EB Games right for for about eight years or so, uh, part-time and, and, and full-time. And for me, before they were publicly traded and before they uh, were um, uh, got, got taken over by GameStop, honestly, the job was build community. It was mm -hmm. talk to every person who walked in the door and make them feel like your store is a place they can go to to find the people who are like them. Totally. And sure. it's easier to find people who are like you now with the internet, I suppose, but like there's a difference between going on a message board and, you know, typing stuff into the ether and going into a store and talking to someone who knows your name and is happy to see you and catching up with them about what you've been yeah, playing. Sure. And if you don't have that experience in your life, like in, in school or with your particular circle of friends or if your family doesn't play games, that's still that can still be a valuable, to me, I would imagine that to some young people that would still be a valuable. Yeah, yeah. Not for sure. Like his midnight launches for stuff. I yep. have fond memories of going to Halo 2 and 3's midnight launch. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think anytime we write about GameStop on the site on IGN, the comments are just filled with right. negative yeah. things about GameStop. Yeah. Everyone loves to joke about how little they give you uh, for trading in games. Yeah. Sure. Uh, they'll sell a used new game for three dollars less yeah. than yeah. its yeah. regular price. And I was front and center for all that. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. <laughs> I remember uh, when I was growing up, Electronics Boutique, I thought that was the coolest place oh, I love in the world. world. Yeah, totally. Every time I went to the mall, I had to go yeah. into Electronics Boutique and just like see, look at the new games. Mm -hmm. And the guy that worked there was, he was like this redhead who had the most awesome 80s <laughs> metal hair. It was like huge. It was like went up way over his head and then like all the way down to his butt. It was yeah. awesome. <laughs> I just I, I just knew he was in some sort of like hair metal. You're like, <laughs> you're like that guy's so cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I used bro. to go into, I couldn't, uh, we didn't have enough money for me to like buy a game all the time. But every once in a while, I got to go in and just pick out a game. Um, it couldn't be like a $60 one, but like I think maybe like, uh, like a Game Boy game or something sure. like that or like Game Gear I had when I was little. And it's like you can pick out any of these Game Gear games and buy them. And then just the agonizing decision of like, uh -huh. you don't have anything to base yeah. it on. You're just looking at the back of the box, hoping that it's not going to be some yeah. terrible game, Boy, game Gear game. It always yeah. was. And it always was. I mean, they're all terrible. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, there's a GameStop right on like uh, Market Street. Sort Huge of, uh, All of our... Uh, uh, routes home and it's like that place is like always crowded and there's always people on the inside and they have a big like used game market and there's a bunch of toys there and midnight launches have lines around the block so yeah. people do still care about it uh, but I wanted to point out to Yancy that uh, Amazon does ship to Puerto Rico and now they just announced this new Amazon Prime discount 
uh, for video games. You guys hear about this? For pre-orders, right? Yeah, well, and even or, two yeah. weeks after the game. So if you're an Amazon Prime member, you get 20% off every video game. That's really significant. That yeah. you pre-order, or even t up to two weeks after the game is released. What is that, 12 bucks off $60? 12 bucks I mean, yeah, yeah, it's 48, awesome. 48 like, bucks? Yeah. Awesome. yeah. I didn't realize it was even after launch. That's kind of yeah. unbelievable. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, so I, al I already already buy all my games through Amazon because you can just get it on day one. It's yeah. like easy. It's like on the release day, the game's just here. Yeah. Every five uh, games, you get a free game. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but you were talking about it. You believe GameStop is on the decline. And like when I see stuff like this, like, yeah, it's really hard to yeah. compete with. I mean, numbers-wise, it is on the decline. Like yeah. they've, they've had to sort of pivot into no, instead of more traditional like, games. Oh, they bought ThinkGeek. Right? Isn't that or right? They or they either um, bought or partnered. Yeah. They're, yeah. I mean, they're gonna. They're yeah. They're totally gonna double down on figuring out how to sell stuff online and compete with Amazon, mm -hmm. but also become more of like a use. Like they're bringing back retro games like mm -hmm. NES and SNES and Genesis games right. into yeah. the stores and become more of like that. Uh, that uh, like kind of I don't know like collectors pawn, yeah like yeah. I don't want to say pawn shop because that has a connotation to it but uh, uh, yeah that collectors be so a we scene filled for with uh, old wedding rings and <laughs> <laughs> guns with the numbers filed off but that's how that company like that's a space where Amazon can't or it doesn't have any interest in like competing yeah, totally. or even like yeah. eBay it's kind of hard to know what you're getting like yeah. if you are a serious collector of video games like you kind of want to see it in person <laughs> before you pull the trigger yeah. on and it. I think one of the things that's also helping them is sort of the boom in toys of life from uh, Amiibo yeah. to Lego Dimensions. Mm. To Skylanders and like yeah you can get those off Amazon totally but you can't just download those on like straight to your console or anything yeah. and though they have huge uh, you can 3D print I, them I would, <laughs> 3D print them I would download a car if I could would you yeah would you would you steal a car you wouldn't steal a car <laughs> Before we move on, real quick on yes. this also, is that uh, I think if, if they were really smart, they would double down on an idea that a lot of a lot of smaller kind of mom and pop uh, game stores throughout like the Midwest and the center of the country more have picked up on, which is to make your store kind of like a not not just a place where you buy games, yeah. but a gaming center where you go to play games and you hold events and tournaments and things like that. Mm -hmm. Like think about a lot of uh, card shops and comic shops that you know a lot the most success a lot of the most successful ones hold game nights. You know will run. Uh, uh, Warhammer campaigns or D&D campaigns yeah. or magic tournaments like you know do yeah. a draft or something and I feel like uh, some of the coolest mom and pop places that I saw when I drove across country um, when I first came out here, uh, the, the, all the best, most successful places were actively encouraging uh, the community, like the fighting game community, or like just other any uh, different gaming communities to come in and use their space as a as a play space, as a tournament space, mm -hmm. and as a place to like sit down as a kind of like a, almost an internet cafe and sit down and play games around and with other people. And I think I think if GameSpot was uh, GameStop. Uh, stop rather w wanted to be smart about it, that would be an area to uh, going back to my idea w where it started, where which was hey build your build Build your store as a community. I feel like that's another thing that they should do because that's something else you can't. Like Amazon doesn't can't create that. Mm -hmm. either, so. They could also just give up. There's that option. An option. I mean, is that an option for all of us? <laughs> for being real, the only job I ever got fired from was a mom and pop game store in high school. What'd really? you do? There's no crazy. cop didn't like the way you were looking at mom. <laughs> <laughs> there's no there's no dramatic story there. I was working three jobs at the time and I couldn't close because I had to go bartend. Mm -hmm. So okay. let me go. I like that you're, you just was bartending when he was 18 years old. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like bartending, bartending, or barback? And one time, yeah. don't tell us where. And you one know time, it was legal, it's state by state. Oh, yeah. it was legal? Yeah. Okay. One time someone tried to ride a horse into the bar. That's true, someone tried to ride a I bartended at a country line dancing, like <laughs> so a line good. dancing ballroom, like a bar, like a line what? dancing place, and a drunk cowboy tried to ride his horse <laughs> into the bar. That's a true story. What year? What? <laughs> oh, I was also a time traveler. Oh, the reason I got fired from uh, GameStop was because I got stuck in 1886. <laughs> like, I couldn't all weekend. I couldn't find a way to get. They found out I was from the future, and they thought I was a witch. So. <laughs> they people, fired me. people still have horses, Marty. 